What's good everybody, it's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. And today, another video brought to you by the guys at Musician Goods, your one-stop shop for everything music apparel out there, such as hoodies, t-shirts, they got instruments, they got everything you need. Just check the website out. It's gonna be in the description below. Like I said, got some dope stuff. Make sure you check them out. They're supporting the channel, they're supporting me, and I gotta support them because they're pretty good people. And you know, I like to shout out to people who are with the producer community and who are always doing stuff for the producer community. But today they asked me, could I help you guys out once again? You guys are liking the videos and that's great. I guess a lot of people been asking uh, comments and stuff like that about making melodies and they asked me, could I make a video about Show you guys how to make some better melodies and do this stuff. So I got you. I got you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to make some dope melodies. And you don't need no third-party plugins. All you need is FL Studio 12 or above. You can do it with other plugins as well, uh, other versions of FL Studio, but having 12 or above is the ultimate way of doing it. And you don't need no prior music theory knowledge whatsoever. You can be a straight beginner, first time using FL Studio, or you know, have some time make with SF Studio, and these tips will help you make better fire melodies. I promise you, trust me, I use them all the time. I Myself, so I wouldn't be using some myself. I wouldn't be teaching you guys. That's how it is. So let's jump inside right FS Studio and let me show you guys all these tricks so you can make some fire melodies. So here we are inside of FS Studio. I know this little rainbow scheme going on right here. This is my new template. I'm actually working on a template video for my video uh, for my channel. So make sure you check out my channel as well. But hey, if you guys want me to make that video for here as well, hey, just leave it in the comments below and I'll show you guys how to make your own templates as well. So let's just go ahead and pick an instrument. I'm gonna start off with Analog Lab because it's pretty. It got pretty much everything. I'm just gonna pick a piano because usually pianos are going to be the most iconic instruments out there to use hey i mean every every genre has some sort of piano sound uh built into it so let's just load that up real quick okay so i'm sorry about that apparently analog lab was having some issues that kept crashing so i think i gotta do an update so i'm just gonna use a omnisphere keyscape piano because you know a lot better but i didn't want it to be loading too long but anyway so we got a piano sound as you can see so it is a piano sound so you know that's that so we know that's a piano, so we're good there. Let me just close real quick. So let's go actually into the piano row. Now, the trick to getting fire melodies is to use the built-in functions that are inside of FL Studio. And one of my favorite functions, I'm glad they added, and as I said, they added it into 12, version 12 and up. So, you know, if you got version 12, you're good, is the scale helper feature. Now, if you go to the little drop down right here, go to helpers and then go to scale highlight. This works is now how this actually works is you'll pick a root note and then you'll pick an actual scale to play inside of, you know, FL Studio. So it's really good for if you want to play outside of a scale you already know. So say you're getting tired of playing uh, minor and major scales, you could try other stuff such as Japanese scales, Lydian, uh, you got Fijian, you got all kind of stuff up in there. So you can play with different type of scales and different type of, um, I guess, yes, yeah, pretty much different scales, you know, get some different flavors to your beat. So that's a good way to already make better melodies is to play outside of what you know you're typical. So we're just gonna pick a, I like to do, we'll do F sharp. And if you right click instead of left click, right click actually it keeps the screen up there. If you left click, it'll actually go off the screen. You have to go back into this whole tree right here. So just left click, uh, right click and stay it. It's that left clicking. And then we're gonna do, we'll keep it simple. We'll just do a uh, minor natural. You know, do my own because it's pretty simple. Now, all now basically what it did is pretty much highlights all of the notes that are in that scale. So all these highlighted notes, so all these lighter uh, like lines or whatever blocks are the actual scales in. The darker ones right here are not in that scale. So for example, I just start drawing in random notes. And we'll just do like this. And if I hit play, it's in it's in you see, it's in key. And if I go to a black note, see, I was asking, now that could work if you're playing outside of key, you know, you got music theory knowledge, but you know, but you know, you can definitely experiment that, you know, yourself. So play around with that. So what I'm about to do now is I'm about to just make a simple, basic chord progression. I'm gonna show you how to take a basic chord progression and make it into something like super powerful, super dope. So I'll be right back. All right, so now we're back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, don't worry. I ain't got the COVID. <laughs> Not by the way. Oh, I was just want to say, you know, prayers for everybody out there who's suffering through this quarantine and everything like that. Like I said, no serious times and all that, but, you know, just keep your head up and keep moving and let's just stay focused and positive and make dope music. So, yeah, but that's not the point. Let's go ahead and play this simple little chord progression that I just came up with. It's very basic, very beginner, but I'm going to show you how to take this beginner chord progression and turn it into something dope. So. Now, 
that if you have that looping over and over and over, that's just gonna be boring. Your listener not gonna like it no more. You know, your your um, artist ain't gonna like it. It's just gonna sound boring and trash. So how can we make this a lot better? Well, one thing you can do off the bat is to add a rhythm to it and do is to add a rhythm to it. So best way I mean is to add some kind of rhythm or movement to it. That's gonna go ahead and create a more interesting beat. So the way I like to do that is to get this little the little razor tool that it's called and just start chopping it up and you know chop it up to a rhythm and then go from there so I'm gonna show you first to do that so first let's play it so I can see so I can go like boom doom so I can cut right here so be like yeah and we cut right here we cut right here right there Said like that already it's already sounding a lot more interesting because we're adding a rhythm to the whole experience not just some straight holding notes that's boring ask Rena to it now since we have the scale function, uh, the scale highlight function, now let's start moving these notes around and adding more interest to it. So let's go ahead and just kind of move this one up. We'll move this one. We'll move this one down. We'll move this one up here. I'm just moving them based off whatever, not really any particular thing. And then, so just experiment with it. Let's see how that sounds. Okay, that don't sound right, so we can probably. Okay, I don't like that one, so move that one back. That's different and it ends on kind of an off-putting kind of note so it actually gives a little bit more attention that's just some new theory stuff right there but dope so we're good right there see this just by breaking it up adding some rhythm to it and then moving some notes around man we already got a better beat like that now what you can go to is now just start adding extra top layer notes that's what i like doing so now i can start adding extra top layer notes to give it even more interesting and just i don't like to hold these notes i kind of like to have them sprinkled around there and you know just see what happens so like i said follow all the highlighted notes and just do the same thing Okay, so let's say after just messing around with that moon around already, we get a lot better, uh, a lot, I don't say better, but a lot more interesting melody just by doing that. Super simple, easy right there. Super cool. So I say, like I say, you can go more depth into this, take more time with it and stuff like that. Like I said, I'm kind of rushing through this to give you guys an example, but taking time with it, actually going in there, you know, meticulously moving around like that, you'll get a lot better result. I promise you, trust me. So at that point, you know, you can do something like if you hold, if you press Alt and R, that's going to do the randomizer feature feature and you can actually randomize the velocities like this. So give it a little more interesting, more movement. So and you can highlight all of them by hitting control A. And then if you hold the alt button and move your scroll wheel over a note, you can actually bring all these down. So it make it a little softer. And then my favorite feature right now is the Alt S function. So press Alt and S and you can do a strum feature. Now it's gonna strum all the notes that are close together. So now we get kind of a strumming effect. And it just be a little bit. And 
then if you need to, you can add some low notes. Boom, right there, you're already getting something that much better. And like I said, another thing you can do, at this point, it's just playing around, acting a fool, being goofy with it. Throw on some gross beats, my guy. You know, everybody loves gross beats, right? I know you do, I do. Put on momentary, put that thing on halftime. You already know the drill. Now we got... Now you can do that, or another one of my favorite things to do is to add a reverse plugin, such as where is Backmass, a free plugin that is really dope. And you can just go on there and start experimenting at that point, adding different effects, stuff like that. But basically, by taking a simple uh, feature that's built inside of FL Studio, like they said, the core scale uh, lock feature, which is super dope. I really love that feature. You can really go crazy with it. They said chop them up, move them around, experiment, play around with the rhythm, add the velocity, add different effects. And you can get some really, really dope melodies. Super simple, super easy. Like I said, this is very beginner and very basic. So like I said, you can approve on this by adding more and doing more. So so I want you guys to experiment with these techniques and actually see what you come up with yourself because I'm pretty sure you guys come up with some really dope melodies, especially just making them simple, uh, static, holdout note melodies all the time. Try something like this, experiment, mess around with it, and see what you come up with. So, hope you guys enjoy. Like always, y'all know who it is. Your boy Slim, aka Miss Different, not motivated by the money, but like, comment, subscribe, views. Shout out to the guys at Musician Goods for, you know, letting me come through, dropping another video for you guys. Leave them comments below. Let me know what you guys will see. They will relay all the information to me. And also, if you want to, check my channel out as well, Mr. Different TV on YouTube, and come join the community as well. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you did. And you know what? With that being said, hope you guys enjoy. Like always, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody. Yeet.